Oh, well, it's Friday and it's time for our Friday Funnies. And this is proudly brought to you by the Cape Town Comedy Club. It's where we take a look at all the news that happened in this week in this crazy world that we live in. And we're going to try and find some humour in it. And here this morning to help us, we have a Devin Gray, comedian. Great to have you on Expresso. First time? I've never been introduced like that. Devin Gray, comedian. It's normally comedian, Devin, Devin Gray. Gray. Devin yeah. Gray. <laughs> I'm going to tell them to do that at the Comedy Club. Like, next up on stage, Devin Gray. Comedian. Like this. Awesome. We'll do that. Well, listen, talking about job titles, I see Barack Obama got a new one. It, I don't even know what it is, but it's much better than what he had. Have you what seen? What can be better than being president he's of the now United like, States of America? He's the, the biggest boss in the whole world, Barack Obama. Have you seen? He's been going around wearing leather jackets. <laughs> he's skiing, water skiing with uh, uh, Richard Branson. So, I mean, he's got the best job in the world. He's got also, like, he's got this face about him that he just doesn't age. It looks like he got time off for good behavior. It's basically... <laughs> he's, like, what's really cool about him, though, is that a lot of, like, presidents become presidents and then they make a movie about that president's life. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like he would play himself in the movie. He's he will the feature only, in he's, it. He's the only one who's going to be able to play himself, which oh. is... He's just, just really cool. life, eh? yeah. He's just living the life, eh? He's just living the life. Now, someone else living the life. This is the movie that Look I think... Look at that. Man even... was fired. Man was fired. Is that some Hillary Clinton <laughs> also featuring? Yeah, he's like, stand Where's back. Donald Trump? Just let... <laughs> That's the fire in the oh, background. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, okay, someone else living the life is Little Blue Ivy with having parents like Jay-Z and Beyonce. Yes, I saw, I saw that they, um, they actually took her to the movies. Um, I was wondering though, like, like Jay-Z and Beyonce, do they take her to the movies on, on a Tuesday night because you get the, the discount or, or do they just... I bet you they're the type of parents that would just rent out the entire theatre. No, just invite your friends over for a bri and then the kid can watch the movie live if they want to, basically. It's... One of those weird things. But, uh, like, they've got enough money. They can do whatever they want. They can actually make their own movie for their child. So I don't understand why they would take their child to a, a movie, like Aww. a movie house. But it's okay. That's a, she's. I think, I think they probably want to just raise her as a normal child as, as an, possible. You're not going to be normal <laughs> Never child. Never be normal with Beyonce New as your Ivy. mom. That's yeah. your name. It's and not going to happen. And let's talk something a little bit more local. New Bafana Bafana coach. Yeah, so... Um, Apparently they're looking for a new coach. They mm -hmm. haven't found one yet. I'm, I'm, Did you apply? I'm, I'm not going to apply, no, I don't. But I think that the reason it's taking so long is that they're looking for a coach that speaks only in metaphors because we've had coaches in the past that when they come out after the, after the game and they say, what did you think about the game? And then they, they say some metaphor that it, no one understands and you go, okay. So I feel like they're looking for one that has the most amount of metaphors that he can say. So basically, how was the game? You came, you ran like chicken, you go home. Like, that's, like, <laughs> and there's no one out there that you can find. So I think that they're struggling a bit, but... Oh, a crazy hopefully, job hopefully application. they find a good one, yeah. It's yeah. Gonna be, well, it's talking it's about a... crazy things, let's talk about crazy onesies. Is that crazy something onesies. you have in your cupboard? I have a onesie. Um, I've, been, I've been photographed in onesies before. Maybe not that crazy. That's, that's, that's quite really a, crazy. Like, the whole family, like, just has the same... That's, like, one tablecloth that they just cut up and... I'm not a fan of onesies. Not a fan of onesies? Because you have to take everything off to go to the bathroom. Like, you, it's just... No, you can get onesies with, like, holes cut out in certain places that <laughs> allow things to be easier for you. <laughs> I'm not, I'm cool. Sure. And then we have had uh, Picasso on the show. He yeah, is the you, painting pig. You had him on... When did We've you had him on Expresso. Him on? It was last year. He sold yeah. a painting for 24,000 Rand. Wow. Yeah. What? That's he sold a pay well, not him. He didn't like make his Facebook post and saying I'm selling like, <laughs> like a Shopify account. He doesn't have that. But like he made a painting that sold for twenty four thousand Rand, which is quite it's quite That's a hefty price That's, tag. Yeah, I can't even sell anything for twenty four thousand Rand. Like my Who do you house, think the money's going to? Um the upkeep of his art supplies? I don't know. Like, <laughs> Some expensive art expensive, supplies. Yeah, that's, that's a good canvas. You need <laughs> well, hopefully it's worth the 24,000 round. Devin Gray, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Devin Gray, the comedian on your Feel Good Breakfast show. And if you're up for a laugh this weekend, be sure to head on over to the Cape Town Comedy Club at the V&A Waterfront where you can catch many more ha-ha moments.